match with Aspirated Aurora. This is a new uh, platform overall. Um, it's basically, yeah, a new platform. It's, it's based off the LR2 platform, but it's 90% different. Yeah. So the, the really the only shared components of it are really, I think, the floor pans. Other than that, everything's different. Um, length, width, everything. It's uh, about six inches shorter than the LR2. But you've got uh, three inches more headroom in it. And that's what's the incredible thing. And it's packaged, the seating package is so well, so good in this thing that um, there's more headroom in this than we have in our Range Rover Sport. Yeah. So it's just a very comfortable car, but it's just great to drive. It's really, it's great off-road as well. Still, it's still Land Rover at heart. And, you know, so it's had to, it's, you know, totally over-engineered and built for off-roading, for towing. But um, this is our, our most road-biased, I guess, SUV we've put out there square exhaust here where you got the round ones over here on the Prestige, which is the more lux more luxurious model, I guess you could say. Standard with 19-inch wheels. Let's see how many cars we can hit backing up. Jim's got us. Come on back. Keep coming back because we're going to make a left and head back up that way. So left-hand turn and Crank her around, yep, that's it. We go about a mile up this road, just heading up the hills. Well, this is pretty sporty. Yeah, not bad for a four cylinder, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a 2.0 liter turbocharged. So we got a little lag. I gotta say, the interior is pretty sweet.